In this video, I'll be taking a brief look at the latest 4K catalogue release from Disney, 2003's Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl. We'll kick off with a brief unboxing and then get onto my quick review of the film presentation and special features. As always, I will leave affiliate links down below in the description if you'd like to pick the release up from Amazon. Before getting to this, don't forget to hit that like button down below, it does wonders in getting my content out there, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to keep up to date with all my content. Disney's 4K reissue of Curse of the Black Pearl arrives in a standard slipcover, featuring the same artwork that has been reused on releases of the film since the DVD era, using the same format and template as featured on the 2011 Blu-ray reissue. Much like their previous 4K catalogue reissues, the slip is flat and unembossed with a glossy finish. Likewise, both the spine of the slip and the back cover are identical to that decade-old Blu-ray release, offering very little design-wise at least, different to what is already on the market. Taking off the slip, you can see that both covers are identical. Opening up the case, we get the usual pamphlets, which include your digital code and a Disney Movie Club promo. This one comes as a two-disc set, with the feature presented on a 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc including the film and bonus features. As this disc repurposes the previously issued Blu-ray, both discs include artwork. What isn't repurposed on here is the bonus Blu-ray disc that has been included on each previous release. The Pirates franchise is one of my favourite ever produced by Disney and one I revisit almost annually. The first movie, Curse of the Black Pearl, is often considered the best of the bunch and while I adore all of the films equally, I do agree that this original does have a certain charm to it. To me, these films are the epitome of grand scale Hollywood filmmaking in the era before franchises took over the box office and paving the way for the modern landscape of cinema. Almost 20 years later, the movie still holds up up as well as ever. It's fun, exciting and pulpy. Everything I love in a good adventure flick. Sadly, this new 4K issue of Pirates hasn't exactly been given the treatment that a film of its calibre deserves. One of my long-standing issues with Disney's 4K back catalogue releases has been their unpredictable and often slapdash nature. While the occasional title, like last month's Roger Rabbit, slips through the cracks with a gorgeous brand new 4K remaster taken from a new scan of the original film elements, others, such as this new issue of Pirates, are simply reissues of existing masters with 4K upscaling applied. The unfortunate nature of the Pirates reissue is that it's quite apparent that the 15 year old HD master used on each of the previous Blu-ray issues has been used here as the source, instead of a proper director source true 4K remaster being produced. Given the original trilogy were one of the very last Hollywood blockbusters shot on 35mm film, a full blown remaster of this would have been absolutely glorious. Unfortunately what we've been handed here is a little bit of a mess. It appears that almost every digital technique possible has been applied to this one to give it the look of a 4K remaster. Not only has upscaling clearly been applied, but also digital sharpening, smoothing, noise reduction and edge enhancement. So much so that the movie looks smudgy, waxy and artificial, with all of its filmic appearance and inherent detail that was evident on the original Blu-ray scrubbed away. The new HDR pass also rids the image of any visual part Contrast is handled so poorly that a lot of the image's colour has been desaturated, somehow making the film's gorgeously colourful moments look dull and drab. Likewise, black levels are so deep that dark scenes are difficult to see. If you have an even slightly glary TV panel, good luck with this one. For one of the first deep back catalogue reissues of a Disney live action title, this one is really disappointing. And I honestly hope that if Disney decides to deep dive into the vintage classics like Mary Poppins, they do it right. 4K as a format is all about presenting films as close to their dynamic theatrical offerings as possible, not making them look like new era digital productions. Sadly, Disney's focus does appear to be on Disney Plus now, with physical discs given very little of the love they used to be given. 
As far as special features go, with the removal of the bonus Blu-ray disc on this set, none of the hours worth of expansive features are presented in this reissue. The main Blu-ray disc does offer a couple of audio commentaries, but that is it. This is also an incredible disappointment for new owners, as the original trilogy Blu-ray and DVD bonus are some of my favourites of all time on the physical format. Overall, while Black Pearl is a must-have for any serious Disney fan and collector, I sadly can't really recommend this new remaster, and I would seriously request Disney to revisit the source promptly and give it the treatment it truly deserves. This master is actually presented on Disney+, Plus, and I seriously hope that if the future of the company is streaming, which it certainly is, proper remasters are done on these films for future audiences to be able to experience these movies in the best possible quality for perpetuity. Curse of the Black Pearl is available on 4K home media in the USA and Canada, while a 4K box set of all five Pirates films has recently been issued in Australia. I assume that this means that the sequels will be available individually on the US market in no time. I'm hearing the other films have markedly better transfers, so I'm looking forward to getting my hands on those and taking a look at them for you. As always, I do thank and appreciate the team over at Disney for their never-ending support and for sending a copy of this one over to me for review. I just really wish this one could have been a little bit more positive. At that, I am throwing it over to you. I want to know what are your thoughts on Disney's Pirates films and if you'll be grabbing the new 4K disc. Fire away down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Hey everyone, if you haven't yet, smash that big old subscribe button up on your screen to keep up to date with all my content and hit that like button down below. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month for exclusive videos, early access content and to get your name up on the screen. Thanks again for watching.